Yeah. Now, in in the regular stock market, they do this as well. Mm. They do this with the shell companies or stuff like that, or like, oh, the boy, like, hey, the, we're going to choose the winners, you guys. And they're going to prop up these companies and stuff. And then later on, like, they, if they find out, like, oh, this company's going to start going down, they just lever it up, which means they just borrow a ton of money on the books. They, they do stock buybacks mm. and then they Lambo out. <laughs> they yep. leave, basically, right? So there, there's, this happens in the stock market, but there's like, but it's like, you guys are doing the same stuff we're doing, but you guys went a little too crazy with it. Like, if they had just been like running through their own money instead of levering out too much or taking user funds, like, this wouldn't even be, a, this would be like a non event. Like, yeah, they did that. Who gives a fuck? Mm. Right. But because they also, like, it was such a blow up. And then on top of that, it was just so much apparent bullshit. Mm. And then the story's crazy. The orgies at the top, <laughs> like, the, the, the manipulate. And, like, Whoa. and if there's only still... way to have known that sentiment signal at the top. Fucking yeah. orgies, man. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, so um, share this full screen. So namely, Alamina moved away from delta neutral strategies as their edge eroded, right? So what they were doing originally, uh, what, what, more than likely the delta neutral strategies were probably, they were doing arbitrage. So in the, in the beginning, mm -hmm. they're, they're really famous for um, originally getting their money for the kimchi premium. Right. Which was this literally like you could actually buy Bitcoin here in the States or anywhere around the world, go to somewhere in Asia or Japan. The price could be two to $3,000 higher. You sell it, boom, $2,000 mm -hmm. profit. Mm -hmm. And this is where he got on initially a lot of his money. So he would literally mm. uh, just tons of cash to Japan, would uh, buy, buy, buy Bitcoin here in the States, mm. go to Japan, sell the Bitcoins in Japan for a higher price, and then keep that edge. Mm. So, so imagine like every, every Bitcoin mm. you buy, you're instantly selling for $2,000. <laughs> just rent, he's, He was rinsing and repeating on it. Right, which is a perfectly mm. legal strategy. Of course, you know, the arbitrage. Yeah, yeah, yeah they can do it. Yeah. yeah. So what happened is a lot of the arbitrage between exchanges and stuff, it just got tighter and tighter. We're like, you're not going to sell Bitcoin oh, at $10? Who gives a crap, yeah. right? So then they started going with to massive directional risk in crypto. So they started pretty much going long or shorting heavy, mm -hmm. which is lever ladies' liquor leverage, right? Mm. Will get you wrecked. <laughs> yeah. It's really those three. It really is. It's either chicks, hopefully not with dicks. Uh, you know, that's funny. I didn't even think about it. That's like, so that's like Richard Hart's thing, yeah, right? You yeah. know, was it uh, money? Or no, no. Uh, ladies, lever, or ladies, what is it?